Hi. It's okay. It's Sexuality 301. And so, I, this is for educational purposes only. Because I didn't like, I don't think I put in all the, um, what, I didn't say all the places I got stuff. And mainly it's just two places, but still. Okay, so first you have your circle of sexuality. And I went over it, but this time I'm going to go over it again. And this is why. Okay, so you got sensuality. And I wanted to go over sensuality again because, let me tell y'all why. I put in like a sheet. Okay, let's just go to the next page. So there it is. All right, let me see. Did I delete the wrong page? So, maybe I did. All right, so this first page is just like your body image. You can take a dosha quiz and go over dosha, D-O-S-H-I. Dosha quiz is like, it'll tell you about your body type and like your your shape. So now you like have a, a quicker way, like it's earlier for you to be able to get used to your body, to you know, types of foods and everything you eat experience and pleasure you want to like get to know your erogenous zones it's like 14 of them and it's okay for you to touch yourself because in a time of adolescence or becoming a teen you get you get skin hunger and the reason why you get skin hunger is because people stop touching you as much as they used to when you were younger which is horrible you know what i'm saying so when people stop touching you then you'll start to get more uh more touching from your peers so you you guys might hug you might handshake you might high five all those different things that so you want to make sure that it's positive touches not negative touches so that's what it is it's like um uh, make a list of like ways you can get skin hunger you know uh feeling physical physically attractive all this different stuff um what did i put it's like let me see what i put for that one um think about things that attract you to other people so like uh, you can feel physically attracted but think about what's what's attracted to you on other people i think when i was younger i just like it wasn't anything i like during my during my time of puberty i was already like just automatically like y'all i'm not joking i was already masturbating because of somebody actually molested me or something like that so I was already masturbating, so it wasn't like I had, like, an issue with, like, I was just an asexual person. Like, it's just, like, it's me. You know what I'm saying? So, fantasy, that's a thing. You want to, like, keep note of your sexual fantasies. Like, what are those sexual fantasies? And most of the time, most adolescents know they don't have to act upon their sexual fantasies. Um. So, then I put in the 14 erogenous zones, and it's, like, your armpits behind the knee. All these places are, like, sensitive to touch. So when you're looking for stimulation, if you have somebody to play around with and all the different stuff, then do that. I remember I had a friend, and I'm not telling anybody that's a teenager to do this, but you know, like they'll call, like, let me try, let me, let me, let me eat you out, you know, all this different stuff. And it's like, it's up to you if that's something that you want, if that's something that you want. Um, and that's it, it's like as far as like sex and all that stuff goes, make sure you talk to your parents, all those different things. I think it's highly, if you are in a healthy environment, I think either way is okay. If you want to have sex after the prom, that's what you want to do. You want to have sex after, if you can't talk to your parents about it, you don't have sex after the prom. Wait until, I say wait until you get to college, because it's like, even though I was like, even though I had sex once, I never had sex again. So, it wasn't like I was like always having sex. I had sex one time, and that was it. And it's like, I don't want to have sex again. So I never had sex again until I got to college. So that's it. It's like, um, it hurt. It wasn't nothing to brag about. That's why I say it's better. Like it, when I got to college and it was like me and my friends and we were hanging out and we talk about sex and we have sex and all that different stuff. It just becomes like a new experience for you. So I say, wait, like I'm telling you now, like uh, sometimes things happen. Sometimes it's like, it's just like your hormones happen. You want to have sex, you have sex. But for real, for real, I like that I um, I didn't get pregnant. I was able to have sex in college. And it's like, again, it was a different experience. I also had a bad experience with somebody. I had another, I've experienced like men 
that can't get their dick up, you know. So it's like um, st- don't smoke a lot of weed because that'll mess with your um, that don't mess with your sex drive and all this different stuff. So when you young, know, you're trying to be cool. So this guy he used to smoke a lot of weed and he just his penis would never get hard. So uh, you'd be like, oh my god, what's going on? So he act like he liked me, but he was like, I guess he wasn't attracted to me. So you would think that it's you and it's not you. It's the fact that this person smokes a lot of weed. So that was it. And even if it was me, that you have to also come to terms with that too. Oh my God, maybe I'm not attractive. And so um, I think at some point that person wanted me to like actually trip off of it. It's like, I'm not tripping off of it because I just has, you know, I just started having sex and I really haven't had sex with anybody. And I don't have, I didn't have like a bad body or a bad personality. It was just like, he put me in a situation where I don't think he chose the right girl. I think he wants to date some of my friend and not me. So that was it. It's just like, I don't know. It's like sometimes you won't have emotions towards some of this stuff because it's nothing to have emotions about. Like some people want you to get so caught up in them that that is like, that is, um, that they start to mess with you in that way. And it's like, if they start to do that, then it's like, that's uh, mental, um, mental abuse. You know what I'm saying? It's abusive. So it's like you have to be careful with that too. So that's why it's like, man, I was so happy that I got to college and I was with my peers and I started to learn more about sex. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, I did watch Howard Stern and look at details and all this stuff. And it would actually get me turned on. So um, those things are just like masturbate and move on with your life. But I was very happy to wait to have sex again. Like it's not something you have to rush into because it's icky. You know, and you can't trust everybody. So I put this in, like, the man's body and the woman's body. So when you touch your skin, you, you can have an idea what it is. This is a skin hunger list because the skin hunger list is, like, for you to, like, okay, I'll get a hug. I'll get a foot rub. i go get a massage. You know what I'm saying? If that's something you do. But my son, I always, like, give him foot massages. I make sure I give him facials and different things like that. So that's how you get the skin hunger because... It's like you still gonna need that. Like, and parents do. They, uh, I'm not. T- you know what I'm saying? Some people they never get touched, and touching is actually something that actually makes you very intelligent. So remember that if you have children, or if you plan to have children, or if you're an adolescent or a teen, some people they do. Every not some people, everybody needs touch. It's not something that you don't need. Um, sexual intimacy. I didn't really make anything else about this because it's just like straight to the point. Sharing, caring, liking, loving, emotional risk taking and vulnerability. And it's like, you don't have to give everybody your home face. Like everybody doesn't have to get to know every face about you. So if you work at McDonald's and people are talking about all their relationships and stuff, you don't have to talk to them about it. Um, What else? Like, it's like sometimes, you, and I remember it was a guy I was in a theater with, and he was a, he is fine, y'all. He is gorgeous. Listen, he used to be a fat kid. So because he was a fat kid, like, because he was so gorgeous now, everybody was just, like, fawning over him, just, oh, oh my God, he would not fall for the hype. Because when he was fat, they wouldn't have fawned. So it was like, I just always spoke to him. I just spoke to him all the time. And he was like, I was like the only person that he ever told that he was a fat kid. And he showed me a picture. He was like, see, I was a fat kid and I lost weight. And now I look good and I don't know how to take it. And so it's just like, are you serious? Like, he's just like, like, guys always just tell me one big secret. It's like, oh my God, are you serious? So it's like they open up vulnerable because I guess sometimes they looking for somebody real to talk to. They are real. And the people around them are fake. So when they find another real person, it's like, oh, I can talk to you. I can say this to you. So it's like, that's something else. Like, um, being open and vulnerable, that's important too, because sometimes you need that. Sometimes I have to vent too. Sometimes I have to be like, oh my God, I'm being stalked. And today, that was like, well, yesterday was such a big year. It's like, and it's been something I've already known. Like, they were trying to hook me up with pedophiles and all this different stuff. So it's like, and I'm a grown ass woman, and now pedophiles are trying to lock me down. So someday, in their hopes, they can have sex with a tight, grown ass pussy. And it's like, no, that's too much. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's like, oh my God, that's a lot. That is a lot to deal with. So, um, 
that's it. It's like you have to, some people have to be vulnerable in it sometimes. Like you can't just wake up in the morning, I'm harder than a motherfucker, you know? Like, and, and when I say hard, it's like, I don't have feelings. You know, fuck that. I don't have feelings. And it's like, you listen to these rap songs and stuff like that, and they try to act like they don't have feelings. And it's like, you do have feelings. You're not going to have the same feelings or express the same emotions to everybody. But you have to show feelings to somebody. You know what I'm saying? You have to show you care to somebody. And so that's it. That's why it's important for you to know your sexuality. Because it could just be that you're asexual. It could be that they're just asexual. They're not ready for a relationship. You see what I'm saying? So it's like that's something that you have to really think about. Uh, Sexual identity. See? Moving on to that. Just check out... um, sexuality 201 just go and see what your sexual identity is and that's all the things that play into that and then reproduction and sexual health uh depending on situations i mean you have to know and be informed about all this information this very this is something that you could just like go through and read but uh factual information about reproduction feelings and attitudes sexual intercourse how are you going to do it reproductive and sexual anatomy and sexual reproduction so all those things are important. Make sure you cover your penis, all those different things. If you have a cold, so they have uh, mouth covers too. Like you could still do um, oral sex and all those different things. You just have to cover your mouth. So it's just some things like it's okay. Like it's sex is sex. To be intimate and close, you'll be able to do it. It's just like um, that's all. Like you'll be able to do what you want to do. And if you find the right partner. And then last one is important because it's the sexualization. And so it's like you want to make sure that whatever you're doing, that's why I went back to the skin hunger. You want to make sure that whatever you're doing is safe. And just go over those different definitions of like what skin hunger. I mean, after, you know, what's safe? Is it okay, is it okay for me to kiss? How is it safe for me to kiss? Because you still have things like mono and STDs, chlamydia, you know, syphilis all this stuff so it's always good to always think about condoms and all those different things too it's just always protect yourself because you do not want to end up having like all these stds and all these trips to the doctor and you know getting hiv or aids or anything like that so that's it uh shantae brown should talk on the black unicorn telling you guys just go ahead and explore sexuality um 301 and it'll all be on the website And just check it out. Just see what you can do to help yourself. Anyway, that's it. Have a great day.